Across the Atlantic, we have three named systems and one major hurricane, which is Michael, which formed in the Gulf of Mexico and is set to come across the southern United States as it goes through Wednesday. It will likely have extreme impacts as it makes a landfall along the Florida coastline, commonly called the Panhandle. And as it makes its way northwards, it will likely bring flash flooding as well as, as, well as one foot of rainfall across uh, those areas. Meanwhile, out towards the Atlantic, we have the newest tropical storm, which is Nadine. It is not set to strengthen that much. It will likely encounter some cooler waters as it goes through the next uh, few days. And uh, this upper level jet stream as well will likely begin to weaken it. So across the Great Tarantulas, uh, parts of Cuba will continue to recover from the passage of Michael. Downpours still expected around Havana, up towards uh, Kingston, as, as well as Hispaniola. A few thundery showers are expected. As we said, across uh, the Atlantic, we just have that one system, which is Nadine. And it poses no threat to a landmass at this time and will likely fade as we go through this week. So for the less Rantales, it's mostly settled, barring that uh, one a tropical wave set to come by later on or on a Wednesday, likely bring a few showers towards uh, Bridgetown. Also, a few showers likely further to the north, especially around uh, St. Kitts. Basically, there's a confluence of air and moisture there, bringing some dampness towards the northern Leeward Islands as they go through their Wednesday. So that's your Caribbean travel forecast, and that's it from me.